Hello everyone, welcome to science. Today we're going to be learning all about clouds and all the different types of clouds. So let's look at the pictures. It says we're gonna label the clouds, directions, label the clouds based on the definitions below. So let's just look, let's look at the first picture. What do you notice about the clouds? I notice they're kind of going in, in like a, um, almost looks like a path. Let's look at picture number two. They look like a bunch of dots in the sky. Look at picture number three. It looks like just a big cloud with a hole in the middle. Let's look on the bottom. The first one looks like swirly clouds, like maybe there's some wind. The middle one is just a bunch of nice bright clouds. Oh, and the last one is very dark. So there are six different types of clouds. Now I may not say all of these cloud names correctly. I'll do my best. All right, the first one is says cirrus, high altitude, feathery, feather, feathery thin, white, curly shaped clouds, high altitude, feathery thin, and they're white curly shaped clouds. Hmm. I want to say it's this one on the bottom, but I'm not sure. So let's read the rest. Cirrocumulus, high altitude, small, wispy, patchy, puffy clouds that form in rows. Okay, if you look at the second picture, it looks like they're in rows and they're small and they're wispy and they're puffy. So picture number two is their cirrocumulus clouds. All right, cirrostratus clouds, high altitude, thin wispy clouds. When they cover the sky, they are so thin that it looks like a white sheet. Okay. Let's see here. We're looking for clouds that are high and they are so thin it looks like a white sheet. Okay. This first picture looks like they, they're so light, right? And it kind of just looks like a sheet. So that is a cirrostratus clouds. Okay, now we have the cumulus clouds. Low, altitude of fluffy, white clouds, typical of hot weather. That's gonna be this middle one on the bottom. Stratus clouds are low altitude, horizontal, gray, wispy clouds. Gray, wispy clouds. Okay, so I think I got one wrong. I believe that the stratus clouds is this top one because the nimbostratus is low altitude, dark clouds. So that's this one, the bottom one. That's nimbostratus. <clears throat> excuse me, nimbostratus clouds. Then stratus clouds are the one up here. And then cumulus is the one in the middle on the bottom. Okay, so the cirrus ones, cirrus clouds are the high altitude feather, the, <coughs> excuse me, featherly thin, <clears throat> Excuse me, so something in my throat. Where was I now? At the cirrostratus, the high altitude, thin, wispy clouds. When they cover the sky, they are so thin, <coughs> it looks like a white sheet. That's the third one on the top. And then the cirrus is the first picture on the bottom. Those are the thin, white, curly shaped clouds. Okay, so now you know that there are six different types of clouds. It's hard to pronounce, but basically the stratus 
type clouds are your darker clouds and the cirrus clouds are more of the white clouds. And then cumulus is what I think we're used to seeing a lot in the middle on the bottom. All right, so I'm going back to explore some more clouds. Okay. Hmm, here's a book. Let's let's read the book. Clouds level H. Oh, oh no, we need a moment. Our servers experience an unexpected error. Well, now let's see. Hmm, here's the stratus clouds. Get your head out of the clouds. Cloud chart. Cloud, there's a lot of things on clouds. Let's check this out. It's a cloud chart. Okay, I'll download that and let's see. Okay, wow, this is at the bottom. You can barely see it. Um, but it's showing you all of the different types of clouds and then the word bank with some of the ones that we learned. That wasn't what I thought it was gonna be. I wanted to read. Well, let's look at the cloud diagram. Uh, this looks good. Okay, here we go. Now we can test it. We get them right, because I could have gotten some wrong, right? Types of clouds. All right, here we go. This is what it looks like. Cirrostratus is the high altitude thin wispy sheet. We did get, we, I got this one right. Cirrocumulus, the high altitude small patchy and fluffy. Cumulus, I'm sorry, cumulus, low altitude and fluffy. Then we have the stratus and they're gray. Nimbus, that was on the other one, but they, they had another word in it. Those are the dark clouds. And the cirrus are those thin, thin little clouds. All right, awesome. So you see all the different types of clouds. Luck shall have it, perhaps the book will be working now. I'll try a different one. Oh, come on. Okay, that's all right. Let's look at, get the clouds out of your head. And then I think um, in our Zoom meeting, we can explore some of it on YouTube. All right, it says, do you remember staring up at the clouds as a child, seeing shapes or monsters? Do you ever see different shapes in the clouds? Well, I'm gonna download this activity that you can do. Whoa, you need a whole bunch of materials. Sorry about that. All right, let's make it even more simple than that. Here's what I want you to do. Go outside, look at the clouds, draw the clouds you see, okay? And try to explain what the clouds look like. And then we can compare it to the cloud chart and see which type of cloud you saw. So, that's gonna be the assignment, either due today or on Tuesday. You're going to go outside, you're gonna take a look at the clouds, you're gonna draw what you see. Are you seeing any funny shapes? Are they thin, wispy clouds? Are we gonna have a storm? Are we gonna have dark clouds? So depending when you go out is how the clouds are gonna look. So I want you to do that activity. You can share it with me on Zoom, you can do it in portfolio, um, or you can take a picture of it and send it to me. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Um, let me just see if I can play a quick video before we go about clouds. Finish this up. Clouds, clouds. Okay, here we go. We're gonna watch this all about clouds for kids, the types and names of clouds. All right.
and hopefully this will all make sense once you see this video. Anytime you look up into the sky, you may see clouds, but no two clouds look alike, and some look very different from each other. So, what makes clouds, and why do some clouds look thin and wispy, while others look big and fluffy? Clouds are formed by water vapor in the atmosphere that condenses into very small water droplets or ice crystals, and then gathers together. When water on the earth evaporates, it turns into invisible vapor that rises until it reaches colder air high in the sky. In these colder temperatures, the vapor condenses or changes back into a liquid. Eventually, the water droplets will fall back to earth as rain, snow, or ice. This is known as the water cycle. There is always at least some water vapor in the air. Clouds only form when the atmosphere cannot hold any more vapor. Since warm air can hold more water vapor than cool air, clouds are often formed when the temperature cools. Although they may look light and fluffy, clouds are actually very heavy. A single cloud may weigh as much as several million tons. They do not fall because warm air currents push up against the tiny droplets and individual droplets are not heavy enough to overcome the resistance of the air below them until they join together into much larger drops. There are five basic types of clouds. Cirrus, stratus, stratocumulus, cumulus, and cumulonimbus. Cirrus clouds are high and thin. Because the air is so cold at high altitudes, these clouds are made of ice crystals instead of water droplets. Cirrus clouds are sometimes called mare's tails because they are shaped something like the tail of a horse. The appearance of cirrus clouds often means a day of fair weather. Stratus clouds are shaped like flat sheets. They may occur at low, middle, or high altitudes. When stratus clouds layer thickly, they may produce light rain or snow. Stratocumulus clouds make rolls or ripples and can occur at low, middle, or high altitudes. Cumulus clouds are puffy and small when they first form, but they may grow into much taller cloud formations. When lit by the sun, Cumulus clouds are bright white and are often seen on days of good weather. Cumulonimbus clouds are thunder clouds. Heavy and dense, they are very large and similar to cumulus clouds. They may produce lightning, rain, hail, and tornadoes. Different types of clouds can indicate different kinds of weather but aside from that, identifying clouds is fun. Next time you're outside, look up and see if you can identify the clouds where you are. Woo! All what? right, everyone. Dad did mind math. Yep. Okay, so that was a really cool video. So what your assignment is, again, just look up at the clouds and then we're going to try to figure out what the name of the cloud is that you drew and i'm going to do the activity too all right guys i'll see you up next for math bye for now